Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Penguin Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock your monitor if you are using AMD cards. For information, my monitor is a Dell S2415. It's a 24-inch down freezing IPS monitor. However, we can still extract a little bit more uh, refresh rate for this monitor. So now let's begin. So in order to overclock your monitor, you will need to use this AMD Radeon settings. Now you need to go into your display, click create custom resolutions, and then you can see that your refresh rate, this is your current refresh rate. So I'm going to change this to say like 65. And then you click save here. Then your screen is still running at 60 megahertz and it's not running at 65 hertz. So what you need to do now is to right click on your desktop and go to display settings, go to advanced display settings, go to display adapter properties for display one, then go into your monitor tab. As you can see here, you're still running at 60 hertz. You can now change to 65 hertz. So you can click apply and then keep changes. So your screen is currently running at 65. This is not the max refresh rate that this my Dell S2415 can run. And actually after a few tests, you can try to increase your refresh rate step by step. And I find that my screen actually runs at 67 max. Any higher than that, it will crash. So right now I'm going to show you how to change to 67. So right now you will have to go back to your display settings and actually reverse your settings back to 60 hertz before you can make any change on your refresh rate in the AMD Radeon settings. So we go back, then we go back to 60 hertz, goes back a while, comes at normal. Okay. Now you can go back to your screen. Now you can go back to your custom resolutions. You can delete this uh, custom resolutions. So you can click create again and you can run at 67 and now you need to go back to a display adapter settings and then run it at 67. So right now my screen is already running at 67 hertz. You can try to open some games to test out your refresh rate. Now please bear in mind that every monitor's overclocking capabilities differs. I think that the newer monitors can overclock much higher than this already three to four years model. And so I'm just going to open again to let you see that uh, an option of 67 hertz refresh rate is available in some of the games. So we are in Shadow of Tomb Raider is here, running at 60 hertz. But as you can see, you have another option that's running at 67 hertz. So we can apply change to that. There we go. This game can run at 67 hertz. But then, as you can see here, my graphic card, which is a Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 580, is running over 90 frames per second in this menu. So you basically can't see any any differences. But I can show you some other games that lets you adjust your monitor refresh rate too, such as uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So right now we are in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You can see that we have another option here that is 67 Hz. So we can try apply as well and the game will run at 67 Hz as well. So what happens if you overclock your monitor to a point that it cannot support. As I've mentioned, I, my monitor can only overclock up to 67 hertz, which is 7 hertz more. So I'll show you what happens if you push over the limit. So I'll show an example where I overclock my monitor to 68. So we click save here. And then nothing goes wrong yet. And then go back to our monitor. And here you can see it's now 68 
and click apply so my monitor will go off we will have no signal anymore it will say that please change your input timing to 9 to 60 hertz back and then after a few seconds the monitor will start and back to 60 hertz so don't worry if if you push over the limit the monitor will comes back itself so all you need to do now is just to go back to 60 hertz click apply and then you can delete your overclock settings and set it back to your previous successful overclock refresh rate So there you have it guys, this is a simple tutorial on how to overclock your monitor. Uh, for those who's using Dell S2415H, let me down in the comments below how, how much further you can overclock your monitor. I've also tried this uh, overclock with my NVIDIA cards that is GTX 1050Ti in the past and I could only get it up to 67 as well so I'm very curious as to how other monitors, especially Dell S2415H, can be overclocked. So guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Ciao!